We are going to start with that new video of a deadly officer involved shooting by the Galleria. It's from 2019, but the new look tonight is the result of News 4 pressing for months and months for transparency. This is especially pertinent following the police shooting in Minnesota. The public wants to know what happened. Our Alexis Otos is here with more of the video. News 4 brought to you first at 6. Well, we have spent hours today sifting through hundreds of videos of the day Terry Tillman was shot and killed. There is one video that shows the moment of that shooting and what prosecutor Wesley Bell calls a split second decision the officer made to protect his life. We're not going to show the exact moment, but we are going to let you hear it and understand how quickly it happened. Police raced towards the Galleria Mall after officers confronted Terry Tillman, who had a gun. Surveillance captures him running through the parking garage. But it's here, across the street, where the shooting happens, and it happens in a matter of seconds. That's a Richmond Heights police officer. He runs up the stairs. Tillman appears. The officer fires multiple times. Tillman never fires his gun. Police call for help and begin CPR. This all happened in August 2019. In December of 2020, Wesley Bell's office said charges would not be filed against the officer. It's been 20 months since the shooting and News 4 just got all of this video today after months of requests. So why the lack of training? Details emerging from the officer involved shooting outside the Galleria Saturday. Tonight we're getting more of a timeline of the events that led officers to chase and ultimately shoot Terry Tillman. The investigators say that this all started because two officers in the mall noticed an extended magazine showing from Tillman's waistband. So when police approached Tillman, they say he ran and the officers followed him. When Tillman and the officers were then on the top floor of a nearby parking garage, Tillman reportedly pointed a gun in the direction of one of the officers and another fired at him. Police say that they are still working to try to get more information on the shooting. We are learning a lot more tonight about yesterday's shooting where there was an officer who shot and killed a man near the St. Louis Galleria. Investigators say Tillman ran from a Richmond Heights police officer who approached him by a gun scene in his waistband. Well, right now there is no argument about whether 23-year-old Terry Tillman had a gun on him while at the Galleria. The question is what happened after he was chased across the street that led a veteran officer to shoot and kill Tillman. Police say Tillman ran from the Galleria across the street over to this parking garage where the Richmond Heights police officer shot and killed him. And to the police say, Tillman raised a gun at the officer. The officer who discharged the firearm indicated that Mr. Tillman had that firearm raised at the time that he did. He discharged his firearm and he struck Mr. Tillman in the torso. Mr. Tillman did not discharge his firearm. We see an autopsy shows Tillman was shot three to five times. All of his injuries are said to be to the front of his body. Now that developing story in Richmond Heights, two different groups of protesters taking to the streets demanding answers in the police involved in shooting death of Terry Tillman near the Gallery of Mall. That's very real right here as protesters have blocked off Big Ben near Interstate 64. Now I want you to stay with us live here. They had this street blocked off for about the last five minutes. Our demonstrators earlier are holding up signs and as you can see right now in support of Terry Tillman. Do you think that it's too early to speculate on if uh, it's never too early to, uh, to speculate. I mean, you have common sense, I have common sense. And whenever the police kill a black person, we have to be really, really skeptical. The relationship between law enforcement and community is fragile. And transparency is a fair amount. <laughs> August 31st, 2019. We feel 
of her, the Crichton um, EMX. Look, 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 you see the gun? Hey, that don't, that don't look like police gun, do it. Uh, that's the second book